Hello and welcome back to the channel, How We Move the Decimal. In today's video, I am photographing items to sell on eBay. And as you can tell, it's light outside. So I'm actually getting a bunch of light in from my window in the dining room. It's a mess. I've said in previous videos, I have to take over the dining room table to do any photographing for eBay because I don't have any other area for it. Would it be awesome if I did? Yeah. But this room does get a lot of natural light. I did put a 100 watt light bulb in the chandelier above the table. So it's even more light there. And I think I'm photographing this at the very beginning of November, end of October. We still have a couple Halloween decorations out there. And I do have to put a sticker over my daughter's face when she shows up in the videos. But, and luckily for me, you know, first world problems. I'm super spoiled. I have a dining room table that seats 12. So I have the ability to have a very large surface to work with. Even if I have to take up a tiny corner, which in one of the videos, you will see me photographing Christmas tree ornaments in a very tiny corner of the dining room table. But I just got rid of the robe. I was going to sell it, but I saw that it had been repaired. However, my daughter needed a new bathrobe. So there she goes. And I think a lot of people that thrift can kind of sympathize with that. We get the, the things that can't sell or things without sizes. This is an Under Armour like Capri legging. I think I they're not doing as well. I'm not lotting them up yet because January is usually a pretty big month for activewear. Up until like mid-February, you know, that I've got a gym membership for Christmas and I'm going to go twice, but because I'm going to go twice, I need to have like the best, you know, fitness apparel. I am using thrift store knockoffs when I go to the gym, but the, with this, I think Under Armour's not selling as well as it used to. So I think I'm going to lot them all up and sell them as a size lot. This is a Carhartt jacket. It's a women's jacket. It is a dark brown. It is well loved. It, there's no holes or anything, but it is worn. With Carhartt though, this could be a plus. It could be a positive that there is wearing all around the bottom of the sleeves, bottom of the coat. It's still in really good shape. It's lined, which is great. And I, I want to say it's a good size also. I want to get this up as winter starts. In fact, I just sold a coat this weekend and I just shipped it off today and we're in the very first week of December. So that I, that's kind of propelling me to get my coats up where we live. We've already had our first snow of the year. We had it last weekend. So I think that's putting people in that I need to get snow stuff. I need to get heavier winter stuff. The, but that's, that has started selling. Pants have started selling more. This is, uh, especially with inflation in the stores, I was looking at prices of just pants at like Walmart, you know, off-brand pants because my son is continuing to grow and is not going to stop. So I'm going to have to keep buying pants the cheapest possible because he is just burning through them. So even the just the Walmart brand pants are like $30. I pick them up whenever I can at the thrift store for him to personally wear. I just went to a thrift store this week and was able to pick up another pair of joggers for him. He is in a more common size now, but that also means there's more competition for that size when I go to thrift stores, where when he was a small, there was less competition. Now that he is a large, there is more competition. Plus side, he can share clothes with his dad. So if he doesn't like it or, you know, when he grows out of it in two weeks, then they can share clothes. Um, this is a Columbia women's medium. I, when I inventory things, I also look at where my kids are size wise. And I was actually looking at this for my daughter, possibly next year, if it doesn't sell, I have started putting a lot of our old inventory on auction, which I like to do in December just to get it out. And you know, churn it like compost. <laughs> um, the, and once it goes through auction, I may have it go through auction twice, but once it goes through auction once or twice, then I just donate it. Then I pull it out of inventory. This gives more room. It's been on there for 
I want to say a year, um, some more than a year because I was not great about it during lockdown, getting rid of items because I couldn't go out and source items. So I kept a lot more items in the store than I would normally do. This is an infant carrier. It goes up to 55 pounds. It's not one of the well sought after ones. It is mid price level, but it is a solid $40 resell every time. These pants, you know, I always make sure the buttons work, the zippers work, everything. And like I've said in previous videos, I wash all the clothes before I even list it. And in fact, I got a comment, like a feedback from a buyer that had recently bought a pair of jeans from me. And they said that it was really refreshing that they were clean. They smelt clean. So there you go, people. Some people care if the items are washed. I know people uh, like other YouTubers are like, I'm not going to wash it. You should know if you buy something used from the internet that you should wash it. I wash things when they're new because those chemicals they get to keep the colors on it and stuff. It's quite abrasive sometimes. I, with like shirts and stuff, I don't have a reaction, but like it, dark clothing sometimes I will have a reaction, especially jeans, I'll have a reaction if I don't wash them before I wear them. And if you've ever put like a color catcher in the wash with your jeans, they come out like black. So there's something keeping the color on. So, um, but I love selling jeans. I just went to the thrift store this week. So I talked about that, getting my son pants. They just did a flip, like an inventory flip. And on the inventory flip, they, um, at the first of the month, they always, they put all new inventory. They change the colors. So there's three colors, green, orange, and white. And then, um, a boutique, which is always, uh, yellow. And that never changes. But last month it was green and white. No, orange and white. So white was 50% off and orange was 75% off. The last day of the month they do, uh, last two days they do all oranges, 35 cents. And then whatever's left free the next day. And that gets rid of that inventory. And then the next month, so they're redoing the orange tags. So now the green tags are 50% off and the white tags are 75% off. And at the end of December, the white tags will go down to 35 cents and then eventually free. And they do that every month. So that's great, but they don't get a lot of new inventory throughout the month. So if you, the best time to get it is the first week of the month. I just happened to be the first day of the month. I didn't realize it. Um, I was just able to go because my son didn't have to do high school in the morning and I could just, I didn't have to go pick him up and take him back to school. And I had time and I was like, cool, I have time between my jobs. And I went and through the thrift store, I pull in the parking lot, it opens at nine. I pull in the parking lot at like 8.57. There is a 25 person line to get into this thrift store. I went Black Friday shopping. I didn't see a line that long for Black Friday. I have never been to this thrift store on the first day of the like month flip. I had no idea. People were running to get into this thrift store. And apparently they posted pictures on their Facebook pages of like sought after items. There was um, a blow mold with it was Mary, Joseph and Jesus. There's a couple Christmas trees and stuff like that. And people went right for that. I went right to the men's section because again, my son used pants. So I went there looking for pants. And I also really like to look through dress shirts. For some reason, I get a lot less returns with men's clothing than I do with women's clothing. And I love selling men's dress shirts, especially vintage. So I went right to dress shirts. Um, I pulled a couple things that were green. So I when I saw them last month and I knew they were green, I was like, I will get those when they go 50% off. So as soon as they went 50% off, I kind of knew where they were in the store and I was able to grab them. Nobody went to the men's dress clothes. So I don't know where everybody was going. I don't know what the sought after item was, but it wasn't men's dress clothes. The, with this also, um, dishes. People are going for like, I guess I had a bunch of vintage Pyrex. I don't do that. I don't do dishes unless I get them in an auction lot and then I'll sell them, but I don't compete with that because they're crazy. 
I was able to, after the menswear, I went through the menswear, through the pants and the dress shirts, and then I went into the women's like room and I went straight for athletic wear. And the athletic wear was, uh, like I got some Fabletics, some Athleta, again, mid-level brands. I'm not going to get Lululemon. I'm not going to get any of that there. Um, I'll get Lulu Row before I get Lulu Mon. But there, there's mid level. And if I'm only paying $2.99 for them, then I can make a profit. It's not a huge profit, but I can make a profit. This thrift store has relatively good pricing and it's for a good cause. It goes to a women and children's homeless shelter. So I also feel better about myself when I buy there. I happen to also have a 25% off my entire purchase that I picked up at Customer Appreciation Day. And I, I think it rung up like a hundred and some dollars and then I ended up getting it down to 80 with all the sales and coupons. And I also got two standing floor lamps, new in box for $3 a piece because this thrift store also works with the energy initiative through our energy, like, I don't say retailer, but the person that provides the energy for where we live, they were able to provide those four lamps and whatever genius built my living room did not build proper lighting into my living room to the point that it's even messing with my children's oculus. So I was very happy to pick up two standing floor lamps for $3.99 a piece. They also had air filters and stuff like that. I didn't need any of that, but they do light bulbs, air filters, shower heads, lamps, um, bathroom lighting, like the bar lighting you put above a mirror, all of that there, all of that under $5 which is great. Um, I did buy light bulbs there last time for 99 cents, like a pack of like six for 99 cents, which was very, very nice. But mainly I got men's clothing, women's athletic wear. Plus I knew whatever I couldn't sell, I would wear myself. And I did keep a couple things for myself. I, I'm currently, as I'm recording this, wearing a lovely sweater that I got there for $3.99 and it was just Old Navy. I wasn't going to buy it to resell. I saw it and I was like, oh, I need this. Okay, this purse that I am photographing is a hobo bag. It is leather, it is gold, it is shiny. Someone wants this for their New Year's party. It's very lovely, great condition. I got this at the bins. Remember, it's $1.19 a pound where I go because I have the savers card and I maybe paid $1.19 for this. It is super light, but it is absolutely gorgeous and it is leather. I will usually pick up any purses that are leather, but I also remember the Hobo brand from, I want to say it was a long time ago when Nicole State was still doing videos, but I remember that that was a good, decent brand. So I picked it up and um, I will pick up leather, whether it's shoes whether it's purses, belts, stuff like that. If it is genuine leather, I will pick it up. Genuine leather in good shape. Even though I really seriously don't like used shoes. There's something about used shoes, not my bag. If it's brand new in box, cool. I'll pick it up and sell it. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.